Hello, today we are going to discuss a topic inverse discrete Fourier transform or IDFT. The equation for finding IDFT is x of n is equal to 1 by n sigma k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k into e raised to plus j 2 pi k n by capital N. Here x of k is your DFT sequence. N is the length of your input. Small n varies from 0 to n minus 1. And k varies from 0 to n minus 1. So this is the equation for finding uh, the inverse discrete Fourier transform. I have already explained how to find discrete Fourier transform in my earlier video. So this video we will discuss about inverse discrete Fourier transform. So this is the basic equation for finding the inverse discrete Fourier transform. Here I am going to explain with the help of an example. I am going to take I am going to take uh, an example. I am going to take my x of n as set 1 1 0 0. This same sequence I have used in my DFT video for finding the discrete Fourier transform or, D, or DFT. And I have obtained the result x of k as set 2. 1 minus j 0 and 1 plus j. So this was my DFT result uh, which I obtained for the sequence 1 1 0 0. So now I am going to find the IDFT of this x of k. Then I have to obtain the result as the same set 1 1 0 0. So I am just checking whether the IDFT uh, gives me my original input sequence. So I am going to find the IDFT. First I am going to write the generalized equation x of n is equal to 1 by n sigma k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k which is your DFT sequence into a raised to j 2 pi k n by capital N. Here n is 4 1 2 3 4 here capital N is 4 so the equation becomes 1 by 4 sigma k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k e raised to j 2 pi k n by 4 so again in the reduced form it will be equal to 0 to n minus 1 here also you can put n is uh, 4 so it will be 3 x of k e raised to j pi by 2 k n. So this is your reduced equation. Now I have to vary the value of n from 0 to n minus 1. First I am going to put n as n is equal to 0. So x of 0 is equal to 1 by 4 sigma k is equal to 0 to 3 x of k into e raised to j pi k into 0 by 2. So this will be e raised to 0 or 1. So your equation will become 1 by 4 sigma k is equal to 0 to 3 set x of k into 1. That is you have to take the sum of your x of k inputs. That is 1 by 4 into the inputs are 2 plus 1 minus j plus 0 plus 1 plus j. This minus j and plus j will get cancelled. 2 plus 1 plus 1 that is 4. That is 4 you will get as a sum by 4 equal to 1. So this is your x of 0. This is your first IDFT value. Put n is 1. n is equal to 1. 
your equation will be x of n that is x of 1 is equal to 1 by 4 sigma I am I have already put capital N is 4 k is equal to 0 to 3 that is n minus 1 which is 3 x of k into x of k into e raised to j pi by 2 it was already earlier it was pi by 2 k n now k into n is 1 that is it will be j pi by 2 k this is equation where I have put capital N as 4 in my generalized equation. Now, the k value will vary from 0 to 3. That is 1 by 4, x of 0 into e raised to here. You have to put k as 0, e raised to 0 plus x of 1 into e raised to j pi by 2 plus x of 2 into e raised to j pi by 2 into k is 2 plus x of 3 e raised to j pi by 2 into 3 that is 1 by 4 x of 0 is 2 2 into e raised to 0 is 1 plus x of 1 is 1 minus j into e raised to j pi by 2 plus x of 2 is 0 so this term cancelled out plus 0 plus x of 3 is 1 minus sorry it is 1 plus j into e raised to 3 pi by 2 j it is e raised to 3 pi by 2 j now can reduce it as 1 by 4 into 2 plus 1 minus j into here e raised to j pi by 2 is cos pi by 2 plus j sin pi by 2 sin pi by 2 is 1 cos pi by 2 is 0 this you have to identify cos pi by 2 is 0 sin pi by 2 is 1 so you will get that is e raised to j theta form e raised to j pi by 2 is equal to cos pi by 2 plus j sin pi by 2. So here this term is 0 this is 1 so the result is j that is j plus 0 plus 1 plus j into again it is in the e raised to j theta form that is cos 3 pi by 2 is again 0 and sin 3 pi by 2 is minus j so the value is minus sorry it is minus 1 so the value is minus j so you can reduce it as is equal to 1 by 4 into 2 plus multiply j minus j square you will get that is plus 1 plus 0 minus j again plus 1 so this j and j will get cancelled out inside you have 2 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 that is 2 plus 1 plus 1 that is 4 by 4 here it is again 1 so you got your x of 1 as 1. Now find n is equal to 2. That is x of 2 is 1 by 4 sigma k is equal to 0 to 3 x of k e raised to j pi by 2 into k into here n is 2 so this 2 and 2 will get cancelled you will get e raised to j pi k again you can write 1 by 4 sigma k 
k is equal to 0 to 3 x of k e raised to j into pi k. Now vary the value of k from 0 to 3 that is 1 by 4 into x of 0 into e raised to k is 0 plus x of 1 e raised to j pi here k is 1 plus x of 2 e raised to j pi into 2 plus I'm going to write it below x of 3 e raised to j pi into 3. Here x of 2 is 0 so this term will get cancelled. I'm going to write the rest 1 by 4 x of 0 is 2 into 1 plus x of 1 is 1 minus j into e raised to j pi plus 0 this term is 0 plus x of 3 is 1 plus j into e raised to 3 pi j. Now you have to find the value of e raised to j pi and e raised to 3 pi j that is 1 by 4 2 plus 1 minus j into e raised to j pi is cos pi plus j sin pi. Sin pi is 0 and cos pi is minus 1. So this value is minus 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus j into here also uh, cos 3 pi j value ha you have to find and the value is minus 1 again and you will get 1 by 4 2 multiply inside plus minus 1 uh, plus j plus 0 minus 1 minus j. I have multiplied the values inside. So what will be the result? So this j and this minus j will get cancelled. This 2 minus 1 and minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 plus minus 1 that is 2 minus 2 here again here the value is 0 by 4 that is 0 you will get. So the value of x of uh, 2 you got as 0. Now substitute n is 3, n is 3 now and find x of 3, x of 3 is 1 by 4 sigma k is equal to 0 to 3 x of k e raised to j pi by 2 k into 3 that is 1 by 4 sigma k is equal to 0 to 3 x of k into e raised to j 3 pi by 2 k. Now vary the value of k from 0 to 3. I am going to write 1 by 4 x of 0 into k is 0 so e raised to 0 plus x of 1 e raised to j 3 pi by 2 here k value is 1 plus x of 2 e raised to j 3 pi by 2 into 2 plus x of 3 e raised to j 3 pi by 2 into 3. So this term is 0. I am going to write the rest that is 1 by 4. x of 0 is 2, 2 into 1 plus x of 1 is 1 minus j into e raised to j 3 pi by 2 plus 0 plus x of 3 is 1 plus j into e raised to 9 pi by 2 j. Now find the values of e raised to j 3 pi by 2 and e raised to j 9 pi by 2 and substitute in the 
this equation that is 1 by 4 2 plus 1 minus j into e raised to 3 pi by 2 j is minus j plus 0 plus 1 plus j into e raised to 9 pi by 2 j is plus j. Here both the cos terms will get cancelled out and you will get e raised to 3 pi by 2 j as minus j and e raised to 9 pi by 2 j as plus j. Now multiply inside the bracket and you will get 1 by 4 2 minus j plus minus and minus will get cancelled. Again you will get a minus 1 here. Because j square is minus 1 plus 0 plus multiply inside this plus j. This is not a plus sign. This is the sign of j. So multiply inside plus j. Here you will get a minus 1. Here the two j terms will get cancelled. And the remaining is 1 by 4 into 2 minus 1 minus 1. That is 2 minus 2 by 4. That is again 0. So you got your x of 3 as 0. So your x of n sequence you got as set 1, 1, 0, 0. So this was your initial input for the DFT. So this is clear that the IDFT will give you your, your original input sequence and Without any loss, you will get your original input sequence. So this is how you have to perform your IDFT.